curb stop. What is up, Beast Warriors? This is the Beast Animal, and this is the Beast Animal Show. Here with your AEW All Out review, and I am—I I apologize to you all that I took so long to do this review. And part of the reason why I took long to upload this review and the other review, which was um. From whatever, uh, I, could, I I didn't have time to upload a lot of videos on YouTube lately, um, because I've been training I've been training at professional wrestling school a lot, and I've been going to the gym a lot. So yeah, right now I'm a I'm a pro wrestler in training at uh, CCW Wrestling uh, here in South Florida. So I've been doing that a lot since August 11th, and I've already had uh, six classes already. My seventh one is this weekend, so wish me luck on that. I'm doing great so far, and hope, hopefully within a couple years, I will be signed to AEW or ROH or Impact, basically. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. The reason why I haven't been that at much active on this channel a lot, but I will be getting more active near for the rest of this year, and also the beginning and mid of next year too basically um in case you guys do know some of you may know or not know i'm going to wrestlemania next year i'll be in tampa for wrestlemania and wrestlecon and all that so you're going to be seeing another wrestlemania vlog another wrestlecon vlog and all that but fuck wwe we're not going to mention that shit on this video because this is aew all elite fucking wrestling and we are here to review all out the real biggest party of the summer. AEW All Out. Here we go, guys. First match, we had a 21 uh, women casino battle royal. Nyla won the match. Pretty good battle royal. You know, like the women are going to be big in AEW. Like, give them a chance to, to upgrade the women's division. You're going to get more women in AEW. Do not worry, everybody. You're going to get more women wrestlers in AEW. Trust me, you will. It takes some time. We're going to eventually get a lot. So, yeah. And then we had a private party defeating uh, Angelico and Jack Evans. Uh, pretty good match. Pretty good. I liked it. Nice um, match. Nice tag team match. Really fun and entertaining. And all that. Uh, the next match... Uh, you had uh, so-called uncensored defeating Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus and Marco Stunt. A uh, pretty good match, you know. Um, this is a great tag team match. Very entertaining. Very great six-man tag team match. Um, and and it's in a great company like this that knows how to put on six-man tag team matches. That knows how to make the concept of it entertaining. And I want to thank AEW for that. I want to thank them for that. Um, yep. Uh, next match, you had uh, Pac uh, defeating Kenny Omega. This is a pretty good match. The, these two were beating the living shit out of each other. This match was like two guys just throwing every single thing they have at each other. Because that's how much they want to win this match. Like, I... Saw a lot of great chemistry between these two in this match. And I got to say, this was very amazing. And this is actually the best that Pac has ever been in his career. Um, since he left that shitty ass non-professional wrestling company a couple of years ago. And I'm happy to see that he's in AEW. And that he's putting on these good matches. Because yeah, Pac is, the, is great at what he does in the ring. And he's amazing. Him and Kenny Omega stole the goddamn show. 
These two were going at it back and forth, throwing each other with every single wrestling move they had. Pac made Kenny Omega, I think, he, I think it was pass out or tap out. I can't fully remember, but all I remember is that Pac won by um, a t some type of su some type of submit submission, basically. But it was a good freaking match, and I still remember everything from that match. Like, still do. It was just amazing, man. I, I really, really loved it. And then in the uh, three-way hardcore match, uh, you had Jimmy Havoc defeating Darby Allian and Joey Janela. This was a pretty good hardcore match. And these three guys were beating the living shit out of each other, hitting each other with weapons and all that. They, they were just going hardcore. They were going very extreme in this match. This was like a really good trip three-way hardcore match. Like, honestly, very amazing match. Um, next match, the Dark Order defeated Best Friends. Pretty good match. Pretty good. And then after that, Pihada, Pina, whatever that person's name is, defeated uh, Camp Carrion. Sorry if I mispronounced the name wrong. It was a pretty good match. Pretty good. And then after this uh, match, uh, Cody Rhodes defeated uh, Sean Spears. Um, it was a pretty good match. And then after, then um, during the match, Arn Anderson came out and gave a spine but and did a spine buster to uh, I think it was Sean Spears. I believe it was. But yeah, Cody Rhodes won. That's all that matters. Lucha Bros defeated the Young Bucks in a ladder match for the World Eight for the Triple Double A or Triple A World Tag Team Championships. This was a great freaking match. Like this match was like an Attitude Era match. Honestly, this has to be a match topped with the Dudley Boys and Edge and Christian and the Hardys. Seriously, these. These two teams were in this match, throwing each other through tables, man. Beating each other severely, badly in this match. These, this was a great tag team ladder match. This has to be better than any other tag team ladder match that NXT TakeOver has ever put on before. Honestly, this match was freaking amazing and brutal too. That one of the Young Buck members that went through that table at the end very, very hard. I legitly thought... One of the Young Buck members was dead after that. Like that was a nasty ass fall. I that that I that through the table right there. I've never seen a wrestler take a nasty fall like that through a table. I've never ever seen that man. Like like that brutally. I never seen someone like that. Like get put through a table that brutally. Like fall through, man. I thought one of the Young Bucks uh, members, I thought one of them was dead after that. Like, I was just, like, scared shitless, man. I, I honestly... And then one of them went to the media saying they were okay. Thank God, man, because... We don't need another death in professional wrestling. Like, honestly, we don't need another Owen Hart tragedy. Like, like tragedy, basically. Like, where he Owen Hart fell on his entrance getting into the ring. Like, when he was, like, coming down that... Whatever you call those things, I don't know. Like, from the air, he was being released down, whatever the hell it's called. But one of the Young Buck members took a nasty fall through a table. Like, a very badly nasty fall, man. I just, I'm just happy that the Young Buck member that took that nasty fall is okay. Um, I hope. But uh, overall, yeah, great tag team ladder match. And then in the main event, Chris Jericho, bubbly, defeated Adam Page. To become the first AEW champion. I called I called it. I knew they were going to have Chris Jericho be the first AEW champion. And I'm sorry. But I'm going to mention WWE in this. I'm sorry. But. They didn't give Chris Jericho the World Heavyweight Championship. That he deserved in WWE. So AEW awarded Chris Jericho the AEW Championship. Because of, of what WWE did to him. And I'm honestly very happy that Chris Jericho won the AEW title. And people on media were crying. <laughs> Chris Jericho, he's too old to win the AEW championship. Shut your fucking mouth. Chris Jericho is the best in the world at what he fucking does. 
He is your AEW champion, so freaking deal with it. Every type of promotion this guy wrestled in, he won a title. So, for the people that want to give Chris Jericho shit, I hope you bubbly people deal with it. Yeah. Honestly, this is a pretty good freaking show. Like, freaking awesome. Freaking fucking phenomenal. I say fucking phenomenal. Like, honestly. Now, this pay-per-view was a real, true definition of a summer pay-per-view in professional wrestling. Fuck SummerSlam. Fuck SummerSlam. AEW All Out was the real, true definition of a summer pay-per-view. And I hope they come up with a summer name type of pay-per-view next year in AEW just to stick it to WWE. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm the Beast Animal. And this is the Beast Animal Show. And too sweet. Thank you for watching. Burn it!